another way to put my phone. I hope you guys can see. Got a bit of a mistake here. Um, put the wrong timing guides in the wrong places. The short one goes on this side. And the long one goes on this side. Oh dear. Get some oil. Put it on these um, timing guide pins. Lee, have you got that punch to drive these uh, yeah. guides in again, please? I need to just locate them and then I'm gonna drive them in now. Uh, ah, precaution. Thanks, Chief. Awesomeness. So. Uh. Try not to mark your guide when you put the put it in there. Try and leave it protected as much as possible. Because I mean, you see, you don't put the guides in while there's a chain in play. But I had to because I made a mistake. So try that one in. Vice grip off. Grab another pin. Oil, just a little bit. You don't need much. Locate, uh, locate the hole. <laughs> so what you see now is uh, that chain is right up against that sprocket and the timing guide. No, it just looks wrong, but it's the way it has to go. And you just give them a whack in there. Just to drive them home, don't hit it hard. Remember, that's aluminium, so be gentle. Same with the other side now. Okay, so that's a new chain, by the way. <laughs> I put the new one in. I need to find that these were wrong. Um, the other thing I need to do is I need to turn this uh, camshaft to get the timing right, which is a notch on this washer here. Watch here. That Woodruff keys a reference. There's your notch. And it meets up with that timing mark. It's not a timing mark, it's just a casting mark, but they're using it as a reference from what I've seen on other sites. So thing is before you go and do that, you need to check that your pistons are all at a level. So that the valves don't touch at all. There must be no touching. You've got to be very careful. So because they'll bend for nothing. Absolutely crucial that you make sure they don't touch the pistons. Alright, so again I'm gonna repeat the procedure. Just excuse me, I've got no way to hold a phone and fancy video camera equipment here. Not yet, anyway, so. Uh, word to the wise, I sanded these pins down. Okay, so, um, please focus. So, they're nice and clean. <laughs> this thing just doesn't want to know. I don't know, honestly. I hate this video. This is like the worst technology in the world. So, um, <sighs> impossible. I just won't show it. Uh, Yay! Alright, there we go. Okay. 
attempt oil <laughs> no way notice that that's the short side down right I'll tell you why give you a clue because um, the valve covers right there so that's what gave it away to me early on when I noticed something was wrong the valve cover the, the longer one was in the way of the valve cover <laughs> it just wouldn't have worked okay so that's that guy in um, let's just drift it in place sits uncomfortably with me that they're so tight. That's the way it is. Anyway, on the camshaft, there's these spigots over here you can use to turn the thing. But like I said earlier on, my main problem is uh, getting the, uh, the crank down. So none of this pistons are going to touch the valves. Watch that needle, as I turn, it goes down. That's, I don't know what number cylinder that is, but it's gone down. Thing is, the one in the front's gone up. I know it has, because I've checked, so. What do you want to do now is, locate this park plug. That cylinder's very high, so. <sighs> Watching the lifters, I think I'm, I think I have to turn this thing again. Just know that because that's off, I'm going to turn the engine anyway. My timing is aligned on there. Let me see if I can show you. Oh, I'll help if I put a light on. You see that? There you go. And my TDC is way off because I've been turning crankshafts all the while anyway guys that's eight minutes uh, enough to have a look at the next video will just show uh, more complete uh